Hi, today what we're going to do is this chisel. We have the isometric drawing here and the dimension at the bottom. Okay, first change the view to top view. Okay, and then let's make this rectangle first with a dimension of 100 by 32 units. And then another rectangle with a dimension of 93 by 25 units move the smaller rectangle from this midpoint to the midpoint of this one and then move the smaller one up by four units this is the thickness of the chisel okay change the plane to right plane and then make a polyline in these corners pl for polyline Click the corners, C for close, okay, and then move the polyline, I mean copy the polyline by 33 units, this is the 33, and then from this polyline make an ellipse, EL for ellipse, click this center, and then select this center point, and then since this is 17, our radius will be 8.5. 8.5. Click this midpoint. Okay. And then copy this. Copy. By somewhere here, 20 units. Okay. So the next command is loft command. Click this smaller ellipse. So, uh, make an adjustment on this one. Adjust. Make this one smaller by 5 units. Okay. The next command is the loft command. Click this ellipse. This smaller ellipse. And the polyline. Okay. And then, again, the loft command. Click this smaller rectangle and the bigger rectangle. Okay, the next one, make an ellipse again, ellipse, and then click the center, type 11, until here, and then this center point, and then make an adjustment by 2.3 units. This one is this part, this 22 dimension is this one. Okay. Now, press pull this one by 7 units. Press pull by 7 units. This is the 7 units. And then move this by 7 units also. Now, make a circle with a diameter of 28 units. Click the center point. Diameter, 28 units. Okay. and then copy by 20 units and another 20 units 40 and then make a circle from the center point with a diameter of 19 units this one you can now delete this one make an spear from the cent from the center point until here and then go to front view Make a construction line, XL, because from this line and to the, up to the tip of our chisel is 130 units. Move this by 130 units and then copy this spear until here. Okay, delete this spear and then we have to slice this part okay so this one for the slice command click this click our spear enter 
and then select this planar object and then select the circle enter okay delete this one the next command is copy this by five units and then press pull the circle until this midpoint okay we can now use the loft command select the circle this this and the smaller one enter enter okay so remove the 2d lines delete this is our chisel to make it more presentable open the material browser okay type wood and let's try this one birch for this and this part okay and for this one go to pr for properties make it black make it black okay remove these properties and uh, this one make it union make it as one okay and then go to let's say finish or metal okay go to metal use aluminum cast for this one and aluminum polish for this one So this is now our final product for the chisel. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more 3D tutorial videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.